killing him, man. Putting on crazy. I seen you. You opened up for Rock Kim too. Oh man, that was crazy. Did you get a chance to talk to him? Yeah, yeah. No, let me tell you, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Somebody did a, uh, a a drawing of my face, and they did a drawing of Rock Kim. Mm -hmm. Right. So we took the picture, and uh, we was at Brooklyn Bull. So when I seen him again. The year after that, this was when I, yo, that show at Brooklyn Bowl was crazy. But yeah. a lot of people didn't make it because of the COVID situation. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Vaccination card. Nobody was really messing with that. Yeah, we weren't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you already know how so that went. I seen him at the Roots picnic backstage the, the year after. Uh, me and my wife together. Mm -hmm. He like, you look familiar. I know you. <laughs> <I was laughs> Damn. Like, yeah, we did oh, the show me. together. Oh, this oh, is the crazy. Oh, 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 your boy Moogie getting money that's more than likely. We back at it again with another episode of No Scope TV. I got a legend in the building, underground king, a real spitter, the definition of an MC. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Philly's own, Del P. Motherfucking oh, wordsmith out this time, man. What's up with you, bro? What's up with you, man? What's going man, I'm on? I'm feeling good, bro. Thank yeah, you for man. having me. Man, thank you for coming through, bro. We running a little bit behind schedule, you know what I'm saying? Shit crazy outside, shit crazy outside. Nah, we, but, we on time. You know what we I'm here. Yeah, yeah, we here. We here. Gun no, of G's. <laughs> Gun of G's in the I can't, I can't forget Gun of G's in the building. We at the most delegate UTM Studios, UTM no Radio, UTM Media, you know what I'm saying? All of that, man. Make sure you come over here and book some studio time, man. Under the middle. Uh, under the middle, under the middle, but... We got the homie Del P in the building, man. We just gonna get right into it. It's a tradition. The first time you're on the show, I just gotta know, when did you get into this thing we call hip hop, bro? Okay, so I originally uh, started um, looking at Crush Groove and, um, you know, The Box, Channel 65, mm. you know what I'm saying? So Classic. I was about three, four years old when I first, you know, got my, you know, <laughs> listen and look of what, what hip hop was. But I'm going to say, uh, I started writing when I was nine years old, when okay. I heard a tribe called Quest. Damn. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm from and that what tribe? What, what was the first tribe? Oh, man, Benita Applebaum. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But then when um, Low and Theory came out, Ugh. that's when I said, I want to do this for the rest of my life. Crazy. You know what Crazy. I'm saying? But I seen it also because I'm from the same neighborhood as uh, Pop Art Records. Okay. You know, that's Steady B, Cool C, the Youngsters. All right. Legendary. You know what I'm saying? LG, the teacher. So, Damn. yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So, you from West Philly. Yeah. Same hood. Steady B. 6 0. Cool C, Steady B. You got, you got any, like, stories? Like, you remember anything seeing them do it? Like, oh, Cypress, yeah. Crazy Cypress or no. something when you was a kid? The crazy thing is, I remember seeing Cool C um, riding up and down 60th Street in a red Cherokee. This is when Glamorous Life was popping. I'm five, six years old. Damn. And he bumping. The girl is too high. I remember that. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, hold oh, no, up. He a rapper, but he bumping some R&B. Yeah. Probably, you know what I'm shit. saying? Probably had something in the car with him chilling. You know what I mean? Damn. But um, Steady B lived right around the corner from me. I'm on 60th Street, 60th and Thompson. Mm -hmm. He was on Redfield. Damn. So we got a lot of people in common. And, then, you know, I'm blessed to have a relationship with Steady B. Yeah, I know. I see you had him on the skits on your, uh, your project. Yeah, no doubt. Shout out to my uh, big bro. Ring, you know what I'm saying? They both, you know, locked uh, yeah. up together. Oh wow, you know wow! Saying? So every time I talk to Ring, I talk to Stead. Man, that's yeah. crazy. How long? How long Steady B been down, man? Oh man, about 25. Man, he yeah, got, it's like 25, 26. So he got life, like life. Yeah, inshallah, he be out soon. Oh you know man, that's inshallah, like, both of my brothers be out soon. Man. Big bro, Ring and Stead. That's crazy, yeah. bro. Like they can really, they'll really keep your ass out. Yeah, man. Yeah, hopefully you come home soon, man. Yeah, all about redemption. Yeah, man. You know I mean? But the latest project, the People's MC, you yeah. dropped that last year. No that thing's still spinning off crazy. Man, Shh. my favorite, my favorite album out of all of the, all of the catalog. That's my favorite. Yeah, man. The uh, the carry it, carry it on, John. Oh, yeah. I was watching the video earlier. Y'all right. was in the vinyl store and shit. That was kind of like on some juice type shit a yeah, little bit. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. Joint, Listen, man. That's why I say carry it on. Like we yeah. carry it on tradition. You know what I'm saying? Paying like, homage to the legends. You can't, you you can't know where you're going if you don't know where you're from. Right, you're right. right. But like speaking of vinyl, like you yeah. you collect like vinyl. You you fuck with the vinyl game. The vinyl game coming back. Like so, I just got in. I just got in on that, John. I got a couple classic tunes. So it's a, a mission right now. I want to get people's MC on vinyl. You know okay. But you know, I also 
had my uh, monthly installment. It's called the Wordsmith Experience. Okay. At Crate Diggers Records, where we shot the video. All right, yeah. So, I got to yeah. slide down there and shit. Yeah, man. Every uh, second Friday, 6 to 9 p.m. This next one, for the 50th anniversary of hip-hop, yeah. it's going to be crazy. You got me, you got PD Crack, you got Dice Raw, Reef the Lost Cause, Haiti Hot, my man K-Hot. Yeah, K-Hot gonna be there. It's gonna be crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah, y'all make sure y'all make that joint. I'm, yeah. I'm sliding through yeah, shit. Yeah, shout out to but, DJ Wax Spinner, he gonna be on the wheels. My man Big Cuz gonna host it. And shout out to Bob, who owns Crate Diggers, for the, for the opportunity. Yeah, I got, I definitely gotta go check that joint yeah, out. Come through, man. It's a nice vibe, man. Everybody that go there for the first time they mm-hmm. do come back the all next right because i'm yeah. definitely getting in the i'm just getting in the vinyl i'm getting all the old classic mixtapes and shit you know right. like the Wiz Khalifa's cushion orange juice like then i'm gonna go get like the old shit but right now i'm getting like the the right. mixtape classics like, so like i just the, now realize that like they be the having yeah like i'm just yeah. realizing like they have like Lil wayne jones and shit on that joint. like right. they putting like like just old <laughs> shit that's not because you know how to switch to streaming yeah. They don't have like the mixtapes and stuff no more. Like right. now they got oh, it's a website. I forget what it's called, but you can get like crazy uh-huh. ass mixtapes that you just ain't here in years on right. that. Uh, so the vinyl game about to be popping again. Yeah, but for sure. speaking of uh, Petey Crack, My you boy. got him on the uh, you got him on the project, yeah, man. man. That's sure. going crazy. That's classic Petey Crack. Even like Yo. that was like a classic Petey Crack. Beat like yeah. spitter type job. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, the that's real, exactly, yeah, exactly yeah. why I sent it to him. I was like, you know what? Me and Crack always said we was going to do something together. Yeah. And that was off the strength of my DJ. Rest in peace, DJ and Live, the legend. You know what I'm man, saying? I, man, RIP. I didn't even realize. I didn't even know he passed, man. That's yeah, crazy. Because like, he used to be hosting the old PD Crack, like the yeah, mixtape. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Crack Falls. Crack Damn, yep. that's crazy. Indeed. So if, if you peep it, Track Kaida. Yeah. I met Trey Kaida through Ant Live. So basically, DJ Ant Live A&R did this album. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. That's because I got the, you know, the, the full feature circle with shit. Crack, the production. The full production is uh, Trey Kaida. They did that whole album. Man. So how was it working with him? You did that like an in-studio joint or he just sent it over? So you talking about Trey uh, yeah, well, uh, Crack? Crack, yeah. Oh, no, I, I sent him the joint with my verse on it. The crazy thing is, you know how you send something to somebody... You ain't yeah, looking like, to hear from me <laughs> yeah. for maybe a, you know a couple days or so. Yeah, crack hit me back five minutes after I sent him the joke. Like, yo, word. Yeah, and I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. It was like, because yes. that's what I was saying. I listened to the beat. Like, that's some crap. That's like the classic yeah, crack man. file type. Mm-hmm. He ran that John. Y'all both ran that John. That shit is yeah, crazy, man. That's, man. that's love, man. And he paid, you know, he paid respect. And you know, the last four bars, he did, that's what I did. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Like, yo, I'm gonna make this connect. I'm gonna use it. I'm like, go ahead, do your thing. Damn, Let's man. Let's get it. Yeah, make sure y'all go listen to that project, The People's MC, man. That shit, dope as hell. Man, Great you, reviews. Bro. It got bangers on that, John. And it's real hip hop. You really talking about something, bro. Man, like, as far as the project, when people hear that, what do you, what do you want them to take away from that, bro? Like, I, I the People's them, MC, man. I want them to take away the, you know, being yourself, man. It's gonna win. Cause if you peep it, I got. Steady B on there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's from the 80s. Right. I got speech from the legendary Arrested Development. Mm. That's from the 90s. Damn. Crack. That's from the 2000s. <laughs> and then I bring him current with, you know, son of the 215. Yeah, shout out son of the 215. You know what I'm saying? My, the, the people I believe in, the MCs, I think right now that's doing it. Mm-hmm. My man Teeth, mm-hmm. Forever Tell Me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then I got some soul on there. Jay Reezy, Mel mm. Austin Jr. Even got spoken word on there from my brother, Michael Burton, that's from Chi Town. You know what I'm saying? Damn, like, bro. yeah, man. It's a real project, a, bro. Yeah, man. You gotta respect the spitters in the art, man. Like, man, appreciate that. Ain't too many doing it, man. One of the things I like to make sure I do on the show is to highlight people who really were putting that that work in with the art and the just the sound and the music. You know what I mean? Real MC shit. Yeah, or you don't that. even have to be an MC, just somebody that's really putting the time and the work into yeah. the craft like no doubt it ain't just sitting back just like oh yeah my video better go viral you know what I'm saying like, like yeah, you gotta 60, go get it yeah. <laughs> 60 tracks in a week is not cutting it bro <laughs> right. 
Because right. a lot of times when people be doing that, you sound like you did 60 tracks in a week. Mm, like, right. like, it sound like y'all really no. was in there just saying anything. <laughs> Next right. beat. Qu- quality over quantity. Quality over quantity. You know but, like, you always had quality music. I first yeah, got you. hip to your music probably around Lyrically Fit Time 2013 Oh, wow. Shit. Yeah, wow, I, was, I was in there. I was, I was in there, uh, that, that group of uh, artists and shit. I was, I'm an uh, artist as well. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, that's when I first started hearing about you, hearing your music and shit. And like you, you had to join with uh like Corey Wims, the yeah. uh, comfort zone John. Yeah. That shit was fire. Oh, that's but a cult classic. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's bro. a cult classic. I was around right during that era. Shout out to my brother Corey. Corey. I had so many fucking spitters, bro. Yeah, that's why I met my brother Trash Man. You know, yeah, he, he Trash Man. I gotta get him on. The, I gotta get him he on the show. This logo, the Warren Smith logo. Shout out to Trash, trash Man, man. man. Where's MC Trash album? Man? Can I get a Trash Man interview, bro? <laughs> the, the People's MC them. album cover. That's Trash Man. Yeah. A lot of my albums. I remember, he, I remember he had a cartoon and shit. Like, yeah, he's a G. Yeah, yeah, bro. Really get it done, he, bro. He really a G. Shout out to my brother, Bruce Farmer. And his birthday is on the anniversary of hip hop. How hip hop is that, up. bro? <laughs> like, Can't make it up. like, he had no choice, bro. Right. No he no never doubt. had a choice. Yeah. But, like, since then, 2013, you've been. I guess just killing with projects, doing shows, everything. How do you feel like you've grown as an artist since then? Like, oh man, <laughs> um, I say, um, I just grew like you know the the lyrics matured. You know yeah. What I'm um, how I how I approach things just mm-hmm. overall is different. Like some things, you know, we we artists and we sensitive yeah. about our, <laughs> you know what about mean? our shit, man. But um. I, I just I just be on some shit. Like if you know me on a regular, I be yeah, chilling. So yeah. I just was like, you know what? It ain't no use to be out here doing something that I ain't. So yeah. I just be chilling. Man. You, you definitely have been elevating. I I've been seeing you've been doing a lot of shows, like you everywhere, like yeah, just you, trying to make you, it happen, man. Trying yeah. to my mark. You work with a lot of big names that every t- uh, most of the time when a big name comes to the city. They kind of got to holler at you a little bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? You all, <laughs> I'm you, starting to feel that. Yeah, way, yeah. Man. You like, on the bill. <laughs> like, you usually on the bill. Uh, How, who are some of the, uh, your favorite artists or people that you've worked with that oh, came man. to the city, man? Like David Banner, first and foremost. Shout out to David Banner. Man, he one of them, man. David, David Banner, man. You know, we got a record that. You got a record with David got, Banner? Yeah, Unapologetic. Oh. Man. Produced by Jalil Beats. It got Wait, uh, it's Jay already Reezy. out? It's out, yeah. Oh, I got it. was go, on my Will Smith album. Oh, I got I to gotta go, go check that joint out. Yeah, man. that's an anthem right there. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's an anthem right there. Uh, I gotta, yeah, shout I gotta shout go out to my brother, out. David Banner. Shout out to him. Been solid every, you know, ever since I met him. Um, and that's the reason that I was able to meet my man Speech from Arrested Development. Okay. Because um, shout out to Kendra Family Soul. They had a weekly situation at Warm Daddy's when it was open All called right. Kendra Presents and they had David Banner they had Speech and they had Michael Eric Dyson that's why I say that and don't forget the hyphen Damn. you know what I'm saying like it's based on the true story based you know what I'm saying truth, man. so um yeah David Banner in the middle of his uh, of his interview which mm-hmm. he did not have to do right. shot at me out crazy in front of wow. a sold out crowd and Speech was like oh you Del P oh okay so when I come back to, to the city, you coming out on stage with us Word. for the anniversary of their first album. Yeah. He brought me out. And mind you, this was around the time the Eagles won the Super Bowl. City lit. City going crazy. We at World Cafe Live. Can we get another one this year? Man, inshallah. <laughs> and um, we at the uh, World Cafe Live. They did, um, I need some time to ease my mind. That was on, right? Mm-hmm. Then they was like, Philly, we bringing somebody that's your own. The crowd went crazy. I had the had the Eagles head open. It was just wild. And then I just start rapping, right? So every time they come out in the tri-state, mm-hmm. they would bring me out with them. Then one day, Speech hit me up. Yo, I know we bring you out mm-hmm. on stage, you know, um, but we actually want to get you on the album. Mm. <laughs> Dang. What? Bless. <laughs> <laughs> Big bless. Not, not only did they put me on an album, they put me on a single. Like, it's me, Master Ace, Fat Man Scoop. Damn, Fat Speech. Man Scoop. Brooklyn oh, playing Fat Man Scoop. Listen, nigga. bro. Listen, bro. We did <laughs> that in um, 2020. It came out in 2021. To this day, everywhere we go doing that song. Mm-hmm. Bananas, wow. Man. wow. Shout bro. out to Speech. And, and after that, you know, we did another record together called Global Moves with my man DJ Views out of um, Australia. Mm-hmm. That song picked up. So then when it was time to do the People's MC, mm-hmm. I restopped the speech. And he like... <laughs> 
forget about it. Let's do it. Damn, bro. So shout Bless out, shout out to Speech, bro. bro. That's what you out here working, killing, killing them, man. Putting on crazy. I seen you. You opened up for Rock Kim too. Oh man, that was crazy. Did you get a chance to talk to him? Yeah, yeah. Yo, let me tell you, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Somebody did a, uh, a a drawing of my face, and they did a drawing of Rock Kim, mm -hmm. right? So we took the picture, and uh, we was at Brooklyn Bowl. So when I seen him again. The year after that, this was when I, yo, that show at Brooklyn Bowl was crazy, but yeah. a lot of people didn't make it because of the COVID situation. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Vaccination card. Nobody was really messing with that. Yeah, we won. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you already know how so that went. I seen him at the Roots picnic backstage the, the year after. Uh, me and my wife together. Mm -hmm. He like, you look familiar. I know you. <laughs> <I was laughs> Damn. Like, yeah, we did the show me? together. <laughs> yo, like, it was crazy. Like, that's surreal. Like, yeah. My, like, you know what I'm saying? So, he was like, yeah, I know I knew you. Yeah. Like, man, shout man, out to Rock Hill, man. Crazy. He, Every time he ain't dropped you no love. jewels on you. No, no listen, we was chopping it up. Mm. Just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, keep that's what's up, what bro. Doing. You out here, I mean, you out here doing the right thing, making the right music. That good music going to break through eventually. You know what I'm saying? You just keep on hitting them over the head with it. No but, uh, yeah, so you on big stages. You, you running into the legends, chopping it up, getting your respect. So you do a lot of uh, like opening up. If uh, if you had some advice for another artist that's opening up for his first major show, right? What like what are some of the do's and don'ts that you should do coming out on stage for the first time to an audience that doesn't know you at all, and you know like they here to see Rakim right. or whoever that you open up for, like. So the do's is to come out there fully confident, mm -hmm. all, all, always pay homage to. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, y'all ready to see Rock? Like, that's that's perfect. Right. You know what I'm saying? But then tell them about yourself and let them know why you deserve to be up here. Right, you know what right. I'm like, don't be surprised you up there. Don't be, oh my God, I'm so. F no, you deserve that. You right. be there, so you got to let them know Act why. Act like you've been here before. You know what I'm saying? That part. All right. And, um, damn, bro, you just been out here going crazy. <laughs> like, I don't even know where to, where to even start. Man, oh yeah. So I saw that you were a part of uh, the master class, bro. With um, yeah, with Black Thought. Black Thought, man. That's like what was uh, it like meeting Black Thought and just going through that process? That shit. That's like, like uh, you had to like be selected for that. You couldn't even pay for that shit, no, right? Listen, <laughs> listen, that's like, like to me, you know what I'm saying? That's like rock him and I. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like it's like because we know so many people. You know what I'm saying? Like, Air Smooth. Mm -hmm. uh, that was my mentor okay. that actually was Black Thor's best friend since wow. elementary school. Mm. Like, I'm close with uh, Mad, Hamad, the one he said, after that, I'm putting on my cousin Hamad. You know what All I'm saying? Right. That's my folks. Like, they, like everybody was always trying to get me and Thor in the same. But so then it happened organically. You know what I'm saying? Like, him just full circle shit, seeing, seeing me, you know what I'm saying, on the net. Like, when I, um, did the drum with Jay Electronica. Jay Electronica called me to the stage and do the cypher. Yeah. Black Door restart. Like, yeah, yeah. That's Damn, cool. bro. You know what I'm saying? So after that, we, we just got a lot of, like, mutual friends to come. Like, my wife, shout out to my baby, Zayna. Okay. A good friend of hers since they was kids is actually Black Door's, I guess, assistant, manager, whatever. Shout wow. out to Munir. You know Damn. what I'm saying? He, Black Door reached out to Munir. Like, yo, I'm going to reach out to Del P, man. What you think? Like, yeah, go ahead. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So... So it's supposed it's to happen love. anyway. Yeah, like, damn, bro, you you on your path, bro. You yeah, on the man, right path, just, man. So as far the as the the master class goes, like, what was some of the things they had going on in there? Like, oh man, listen, it was like we had to write verses on the spot. You know mm. what I'm saying? They was giving us techniques, breath control. We mm. was laying on the floor with the books on our diaphragm. Like it was crazy. We did that, but also. It was a, a concert mm -hmm. uh, on the third day. We did the two two days. It was, you know, getting Training pointers and, and yeah. getting all types of stories. Like, mm. he had some crazy stories. You know? uh. But um, when we did that uh, concert, Jay Perry in the building, Rozelle in the building. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was a sold-out crowd in Carnegie Hall, man. Like, uh. shout out to Thor for that, man. Yeah, the, whole, yeah. the whole Carnegie Hall staff, LeBrandon Smith. Sean C, who did um, Can't Knock the Hustle for Jay-Z, mm. he was the other teacher. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, uh, Black Thought and Sean C did the um, 
what's, what was it? What's the Johnny do? Streams of thought. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah streams yeah. of thought. Wow. So shout bro. out to Sean C. Man. Like that's some shit. I'm like, damn, niggas are paid. Niggas are paid big money to do some shit like that. Crazy, like, that's, bro. Like so, everybody there was just like handpicked to the, go to the, that joint. The right? thing was, I think like um, it was like you had to submit your tape or whatever. Okay. Black thought reached out to me. I ain't even, you know what I'm saying? Word. Like, he just reached out, like, yo, you got Mel. I'm thinking, he like, yo, you about to do a song. It's like, yo. <laughs> he like, you got Mel. I'm like, huh? <laughs> he like, yeah, man, I want you to be a part of it. I'm like, what? Let's do it. Damn, like, yeah, bro. Man, I got rep for the city, and, and I'm a fan. Like, him telling me he a fan of me was crazy, bro. And I, I know you being from Philly, you big Roots fan, yeah, everything. And no doubt. That, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's like, full circle because Air Smooth, Jeff X, who was Zukon that made Ballin' for Jim Jones, mm-hmm. uh, my man Fred Burnett, they all were like his, like, they was his squad back in the day, the Do You Want More days of the yeah. Roots, and um, the clones and all that. that Dang, like, bro. I seen my old heads with this guy, and I remember Black Thought coming, because I was in a group called Yo AK. Okay. Youth Adolescent, well, Youth Outreach Adolescence Community Awareness Program, uh-huh. where we did plays, That that's why I be doing a little acting, because uh-huh. I was, you know what I'm saying, with that. They saying, well-rounded, you know talented. Right, so <laughs> I was in Yo AK, and we just had like the greatest mentors, Drea the, you know, Drea from um, Divine Beings, her and Eric Smooth was a group together. Then you had, um, you had Steph, she was, Super talented, like mm. left eye talented. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And you, like I said, you had uh, Jeff X, Zukon that produced big platinum hits for Jay Z, Jim Joe, like you know what I'm saying. And they just our after school program. Yeah. But these is people really busting so, moves. I was uh, getting, yeah. I was getting trained <laughs> by like That's getting some crazy, masters, bro. Like you, know what like, I'm you like I, I can't even keep saying it, but Yo. like. It's supposed to happen for you. Like, you Man. you where you supposed to be yeah, at, bro. I, I feel like your weight cat prepared me for everything. Oh, yeah. mind you, guess who was one of the head coordinators of your weight cat? Huh. Woody Wood from Three Times Dope. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. It's like, just Philly, it's Philly, like, yeah, Philly, it was Philly, 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 Philly. Since I was 12 years old, man. Like, wow. it was, yeah, it was meant. It was, it was definitely yeah. meant. So you being a traditional artist, not nah, I wouldn't say traditional, but like you an MC, I, I would MC. call it that. All right, well, you an MC. How do you even try to? Because you doing a lot more than <laughs> than a lot of other <laughs> niggas. That's like, you know, burying themselves, trying to kill themselves to do this shit. How do you navigate this game? Like this, this messy. It's it's a weird game right now. Like how do you even navigate it in 2023? When when you stay in your lane, there's less traffic. You know what Ooh. I'm saying? Yo, a message. You know what I'm you know saying? What I'm saying? Just, <laughs> just do what you believe in, what you think is dope. Like, cause you know, ways gonna fade out. You yeah. Wipe out. You know what I'm saying? And you're gonna be, oh man, I shouldn't have did that, but I thought this what people wanted. No, just do you. Oh, man. Just do you. So you had your ups, the heights. You know this person, know that person, doing right. this, doing that. I know you have to have some industry. Horror stories, some bad promoters, some oh uh, shiesty contracts. Oh. I mean, you uh, just get. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like and that's a uh, segment I like to bring on to the show too to let other artists know about like what's out there, <laughs> what to be wary of. Tell four thousand and eighty. Right, the coming people. I feel Jeez. like if you ain't get if you ain't get got at least once, you're not really doing right, nothing. Right, you're not. You're not. But you know, I'm the lad. I'm blessed. Uh-huh. Cause Rob Swartz, that's my brother. Shout out to Rob saying? Swartz, man. I'm good gonna tell dude. you good how dude. I knew he was real. Yeah. The song that caught his attention mm-hmm. was a song that I did called "Truly Yours" that I dedicated to my mother. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it wasn't a turn up song. It wasn't a, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't mm-hmm. a commercial song. It was a heartfelt joint. And he mm-hmm. like, yo, this is why I got to sign this guy. Mm-hmm. So yeah, man. Shout out to my brother Rob Swartz. But it was one instance where. I won't say his name, mm-hmm. but I had a meeting with a major label. Right. And I played that same song. Mm-hmm. This was, all right, I got signed August 1st, 2013, okay. after you saw me at Lyrically Fit. I was wow. at Lyrically Fit July 31st, 2013, right? Oh. The next day, that's when I did my situation with Who Mad. But prior it was July, no, it was January or February of 2013. I had a meeting down, 
like third and chestnut mm. with a major label mm. and they was like yeah we like that but can you do this song like this type song and it was talking about molly or talking about getting drunk but then they said yeah because 12 to 17 year olds want to have <laughs> what <laughs> me and my man looked at each other like we need these kids on drugs i just gave y'all <laughs> Possibly the next day of mama. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But y'all telling me y'all want me to sound like so and so talking about drugs that I don't take. Mm. I don't even smoke weed, but you want me to talk about Molly and you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, that's like we was just saying before we even got on camera, man. They looking for a real dumbass. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> like got... For sure. And that just goes to prove it right there. Like, mm -hmm. nah, see that hit the mom thing. That's all good, buddy. Right. But can we talk about these drugs? We need yeah. these kids to take these drugs. No, it was even worse than that. We took a trip down to Atlanta. Yeah. It was for, uh, it's like a summit, like a uh, workshop, you know, okay. right? This was with Atlantic Records. I ain't want to say the other lady. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got ties with them. All and, right. and, they, and they cool. Like the real people at that label are cool. Oh, all right. You know what I'm saying? But um, the Atlantic Records situation, right? They had <laughs> an artist down there. Mind you, Trinidad James is popping at this time. Yeah. Hot Bull Molly had a one. CD called The Molly Tape. Every song was about Molly. Metro Boomin was there. Shout out to Metro Boomin. He's <laughs> yeah. Metro Boomin was there. It was some guy from Rock Nation. Um, it was a couple other people. Some boy that used to work for Bad Boy back in the day. But when this Molly book, oh my God, they was hot to Molly, I'm sweating. Oh my God, the whole tape was called the Molly tape, bro. I mean, you, you said this was around 2013. <laughs> that was that. I mean, it was crazy. Like, we feel was, like we wasted our time going down there. Like, yo, this ain't it. Yeah, it's crazy because you said, like, around that time, bro, yeah. it was like, that's when Molly was hitting, <laughs> hitting the black community like crack, bro. Oh, man. So. Damn, bro, it's Yo, like that. That was hard. Like, was, that was hard, man. I was like, oh man, I ain't got no shot. But yeah, then, yeah, bro, I ain't got no, not a chance, bro. But, but then you know, shout out to Lady Alma, who's a legend in her mm -hmm. own right. She she gave me a call one day, and she said, "Dow, don't be scared." But I'm having this conversation with you, and I mean it because I see it. You gonna be one of the people they say was one of the saviors, and I'm like, damn, bro, bro you just gotta keep doing you, know you bro. He like, I mean, she was like, you one of the ones, and she said that same thing to Lettucey. It was me and Lettucey that she she had this damn. conversation with. And then the situation, the who mad situation come. Then I'm getting considered for Grammy. You damn. know what I'm saying? Then I'm winning. Artist of the year from City Hall. You know what I'm saying? Man. Like stuff like that happened after she told me, "Don't stop. You one of the ones." Damn, man, it's crazy. Like you said, so shout man, out to Lady Alma. your lane is less traffic, bro. Yeah. It yeah, goes to show sure. you, man. Like be yourself, bro. I have a motto: be yourself, dickhead. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's all you got. <laughs> T-shirts coming soon. Right. Be yourself, dickhead. Because <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people mess around, man. Mess around, get yourself killed out here. Right. Doing drugs or doing that fake gang shit, man. Yeah. You end up like six nine. Nah, no Snitches, doubt. Snitching and telling. Or, 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 yeah, I'm about to say you're telling on your whole team. <laughs> I ain't want to do none of this shit, man. Yo, it's crazy. <laughs> they forced me to do it. Right. Exactly. Exactly, <laughs> no, man. It, it's crazy because at this time, Lady Alma is flourishing in in her craft, mm -hmm. and I'm flourishing in mine. Like at the same time, so when we see each other, it's like, man. And she always say, I told you. Yeah, bro. Every time, I told you. She, I mean, speaking of, like, situations, I have a, a segment on here. It was called Dream Situation, mm -hmm. which is if you had everything go your way the way you wanted it, which we know life don't work like that. Right. But <laughs> on this uh, segment, it does. What, uh, what label would you uh, – I start with the label. What label would you sign to, if any? If any, if you had a your way, if they were still around, yeah, I think uh, Rockets. I Rockies, think I would be perfect yeah. for Rockets. Definitely, I think I'd be perfect for, for sure. Rockets. But if we talking about now and current, I like um, I like Duck Down, and I got oh, some yeah. ties with Duck Down. Oh, Shout out to my, my man Light. 
Oh. You know what I'm saying? Shout, um, out to, shout out to Duck Down. They yeah, I, 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 I can see that happening, man. Duck Down or uh, Javadi Media. My okay. man, Talib Kweli. You know All right. So shout out to Seth. Dream situation. The second one is you got your first album coming, your debut album coming, major label debut, mm -hmm. but you only can get one producer for the whole album. Who's producing your debut album? Hmm. And it could be anybody, unlimited budget. Knife Wonder. Woo! I think me and Knife Wonder would be crazy. Jeez. Damn. That's that, that yeah, sound think, crazy, man. I think me and Knife Wonder would make magic. So we got we got Del P he coming out duck down records, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> album produced by Knife, Knife Wonder, Wonder yeah, you know what I'm saying? Think. But he gotta go on that tour too after that album drop. You gotta yeah. take two artists with you that you feel as though is a good fit that's gonna put on a you're gonna put on a good show. Mm -hmm. It'll be a good platform for you know what I'm saying your first album. Who oh, two man. artists that you uh who two artists that you going out with? Well, who I'm bringing? You yeah. know me, I'm always trying to pay it forward. All right, my brother Teeth, my brother Forever Telling Me. All right, you know yeah. So you you making yeah. your own lane, like you yeah. said. You well, I'm gonna take, your I gotta lane. take three. All right, because it's my blood, All my right. brother, Zone Boy Mary. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. man. You keep like you gotta keep it. You doing it your way. I yeah. feel that. I feel that, bro. All right, so. We got Duck Down Records, mm -hmm. album produced by Knife Wonder. He taking his squad with him. He yeah. don't need no help. Yeah. You know? They all <laughs> yeah, do. He don't need no they help. They all do. You came this far, so why not? You feel right. me? The last John is, the last John is, you got to um, have a, <laughs> I know you, <laughs> yeah, you got to have that scandal. I mean, you got to have a rollout. I, I see that you're happily married man, but you gotta have, you gotta fake the funk for the people. You gotta have an IG model, actor, singer, or somebody famous to be seen coming out to, <laughs> coming out the airport. So with oh he's in Bahamas with Janet Jackson. You know what I'm saying? No, I get I get my neck. <laughs> it ain't even worth it, bro. It ain't even worth it. I love you, Zayna. <laughs> All right, it. so <laughs> that's too right. <laughs> Alright, so it ain't no scandal. Ain't we no gonna have scandal. to do something else. Nah, you know what I'm man. saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, that's the segment I like to call it dream situation, man. No Del P he gonna he gonna have it rocking. He gonna keep he gonna stay in his lane like he's been doing, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Do his thing, man. Yeah, we're gonna, gonna do a scandal free. It, bro. Scandal free. Scandal free. You know what I mean? That's the scandal. Oh, he coming out. <laughs> he ain't got, he no, ain't got no yeah. He gotta do it Obama style. <laughs> no <laughs> no scandal. Cut. You know they try to take Obama out. But uh yeah, man. So, what do you got coming? Like, oh, what man. could we look forward to seeing from uh, Del P? More, more videos from the People's MC. We working on that the most high. That's the next video that's about to drop. I'm going to do a video for This Is 40. I got to do a video for uh, What's My Joint? A Beautiful Thing featuring my brother, son of the 215 mm -hmm. and Jay Reezy. That's going to come out soon. I'm going to do a video for Good Night, of course, with me and PB Craig. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It'll be, I think it's going to be dope that we go out Brooklyn. You know what I'm oh, saying? Wow. Yeah. yeah Man, shout out to Brooklyn. the fact that you can just go work with these legends, bro. And yeah. you get, yeah, like, at the end of the day, if you're a real MC anyways, that's what we really in it for is the respect from the peers. Like, right. that's better than money sometimes. Right, You Man, feel like, me? Like, you getting respected by all, all of them, like. Nobody can never tell you you trash, Yo, bro. it's like, yeah, it's like, <laughs> like when I hear, like, Chuck D calling me a legend. Chuck, Chuck D, D called me a legend, Man, dog. You might as well stop guy. rapping now. Just go put your face. Like, you can look it up on the internet. <laughs> like, yeah, bro. He called me a legendary hip-hop guy. Like, what more do you need to do, bro? <laughs> like, like. Like, what? Like, yeah. <laughs> just hang it up, bro. <laughs> That's it. You know what I'm saying? Like they get they, they get the cosign from uh Sway and Heather B like and they said That's dope man when that when I did the um put me in the game joint yeah. when I did that joint like before they played the music Sway was like yeah Heather B she the she, she the toughest one like she yeah. the toughest critic she was the one that loved it the most yeah, <laughs> yeah man you did like it's MC, real, bro. people's MC you know what I'm saying. The people no, shout, shout out man. to Sway in the morning and them for putting me in the game with that don't forget the hyphen joint. All, right. All right, for real, for real, man. But before we get you out of here, you know mm -hmm. you can come do a show or a podcast, anything, about <laughs> giving them. You got to give them your Philly top five, man. Oh, uh, my Philly top five? Your Philly top five, man. Tariq Trotter. 
for sure. Already know the God. The White Grant. <laughs> Big. Big Beans. Shout out to Beans. I heard he gonna be using that AI to get his voice back. That's gonna be yeah. fire. That's the first time somebody did something fire yeah, shit. For, for good. So, yeah. Yeah. Use that he's not for good. good. Cause he do that, bro. Right. Beans get his voice back. It might be over for a lot of niggas out here, bro. Right. So so we got Black Dog, we got Beans. Beans. Bahamadia. Bahamadia. Shout That's out to her, man. Dang. Gotta gotta put gotta put that in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Gotta put rest in peace, Malik B. Mm, gotta do it. You know what I'm saying? And for my fifth, I gotta round it off with my brother, P. Crack. P. Crack. Shout out to P. Crack. That's Crack, a solid man. five, That's right? That's definitely there. a solid five, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Shout out to. Shout out to that list, man. Philly got too many spitters, bro. Yeah. I gotta stop asking niggas this shit. <laughs> this should be hard. <laughs> and not for real, it's a lot of times everybody top five different. It's that many. It's that many assassins in Philly, bro. Yeah, it's, it's but it's so many more I can name. Like it's like young Chris, you know what right? I'm you can name journalist, you right? Can name vodka, you can name Cree foot, you can name Mad Squabbles. You can name son of the two one five. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like people come out like, the yeah. hospital from the come from the hospital spitting, bro. It's getting, like getting busy. Yeah, bro. Yeah. It's the home of the spitters. Definitely for real, bro. But um let the people know where they can find you, man. Man, you can follow me at Del P two one five on Instagram. Mm-hmm. You can follow me at who is Del P. That's who is D E L L P E E. And that's on Twitter. All right. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, yeah. www.delp.com will be up again real soon. All right. The music, the merch, the tours. Man, and, where, where they can, where's the next show they can go catch you at, Oh, man, man the next show. Oh, man, you know the anniversary coming up <laughs> uh, next week. Oh, my God. Oh, man, it's a I, I itinerary. <laughs> you got so itinerary. We, so, we got mine, first and foremost, the, the Wordsmith Experience, mm-hmm. 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Crate Diggers Records, that's 7-Eleven. South Fork Wait, Street. what was the date on that, John? Because I want to make sure That's I make that. August 11th. August 11th. I mean, starring Del P, Petey Crack, Dice Raw, Haiti Op, K Op. Oh, man, it's going to be crazy. Bar fest right there. Man, Reef the Lost Cause. God, Come on, man. Damn, man. Like, yeah, that's like a slaughter. <laughs> slaughter. <laughs> bring that's your ears. Right okay, got shout that. out to K Hot. Shout you out bring to your Haiti ears. Hot. Shout out to Reef. Shout out to PD, shout out to Dice Raw. We're going to have fun for y'all. Make sure y'all come out. It's only $10 to enter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, what else? August 12th. Shout out to my brother, Tame Arts. I'll be at the Hip Hop in the Park joint. All right. That's going to be uh, Eakins Oval from 1, 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. Um, it's going to have me, Crack Tough Crew, Schooly D, Reef the Lost Cause, etc. man. Anything with hip hop. Don't be surprised if you see Del P. You're going to see it, man. You ain't outside if you ain't seeing this year, man. Make sure y'all get outside check out some of these shows, too, man. Yeah, man. And make sure y'all go check out my man Del P's YouTube and Spotify. Go yeah. follow him on that job. Run, run, run them up. Run, run, run them run streams up. up. Like, I'd rather y'all download it off of Bandcamp and all that, but... If y'all do the streaming, make sure y'all it's check good the music, people's man. out. Yeah. I'm tired of people going around saying, like, this music these days, bro. It's niggas it's out, here out here giving it up how right. it's supposed to be giving up, man. Facts. So thank you, Nah, man. thank you for coming through, no, bro. No I doubt. appreciate you, Subscribe. bro. And uh, we out this John. We out this John. Yo. I'm the man with the iron, leave them all ghosts. Throwing shots, eyes closed. That's a no scope. That's a no scope.